With the quest for development dominating life in our communities and countries, it is often the environment that ends up paying the biggest price. Short-sighted schemes that benefit one part of society, usually at the expense of another, have too often taught us bitter lessons. But will we ever learn? On today's program, we take a look at what's been done to clean up our act, as well as some efforts to achieve a more comprehensive form of development that takes Mother Nature into consideration. The over-exploitation of natural resources has dangerous results. But when it's a marine ecosystem we're talking about, the implications are compounded. It is more than just livelihoods that are at stake. Species loss and contamination inevitably have a ripple effect on the natural balance of the surrounding environment. Recovery, though, isn't always an impossibility. With the right help at the right time, ecosystems like the Rakava Lagoon in Sri Lanka have begun a process of restoration, with people realizing their responsibility to protect the environment. Rakava Lagoon is located in southern Sri Lanka. For almost the entire population that live around it, the lagoon has been the principal source of income. Compounded by the fact that over 80% of the community live below the poverty line, people have inevitably been driven to exploit its natural resources. Over the years, overfishing and other indiscriminate fishing practices led to a gradual decline in the lagoon's yield of fish and shrimp. The damage to the ecosystem was worsened by the cutting down of mangroves for firewood. This destruction prompted the Coastal Conservation Department to implement a coastal management plan whilst at the same time mobilizing a community-based organization called the Rakava Development Foundation or the RDF to activate community participation. Out of poverty, people chopped down the mangroves, but that was banned by the authorities, and this forced the people to look for other means of employment. That is when we bought this choir-making machine from the foundation to make some money. In 1993, the South Asian Cooperative Environment Program, in collaboration with the United Nations Environmental Program, and the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific conducted a workshop that aimed to identify the region's key environmental issues requiring urgent attention. Coastal areas are the most socio-economically important areas of Sri Lanka as 80% of the tourism-related infrastructure is located here. With a population density of 270 per square kilometer, a great deal of development has taken place but without proper planning and management. The result has been the emergence of countless environmental and social problems. By initializing other income-generating enterprises, such as crime-making and poultry-keeping, the RDF demonstrated that communities need not depend on exploiting their surroundings in order to survive. It was a foundation that initiated action to stop coral mining. And by starting things like coil-making, it successfully stopped coral mining to a great extent. Even the mangroves, which were being chopped down at such a rate that a plane could have landed here, stopped by way of advice and help by the foundation. Undoubtedly, Sri Lanka's fisheries sector has always been an integral part of its economy with over 150,000 fishermen and fish farmers and a further 100,000 people involved in related occupations. With encouragement from the RDF, the people of the area have realized 
that protecting the lagoon and its resources is actually beneficial to their well-being. When we realized that the causeway was obstructing the water flow of the lagoon, we informed the relevant authorities to solve this problem. By putting up a bridge, we certainly saw a great improvement in the lagoon's productivity. And because of the people's overall concern for the lagoon, even the mangroves and the surroundings are being well looked after. The communities that live around the Rakhava Lagoon have been able to strike a balance between economic gain and environmental concern. They realized too that it was the support of the state as well as the right kind of awareness that has inspired them to nurture the environment around them.